Hello and welcome back to NAS Compares and today I want to talk about a brand new Thunderbolt 3 NAS but this time not from QNAP, from PROMISE! Okay, first things first, before we get anywhere further in this video, if you're not already aware, Thunderbolt 3 NAS is huge, but the only company out there that supports Thunderbolt NAS is QNAP, till now. Um, up until now, we kind of assumed that QNAP were only ever going to be the company that produced Thunderbolt NAS, largely because we thought they owned the patent, or maybe they you know, researched and developed the entire technology themselves. Thunderbolt 3 storage isn't new. Lots of companies like Drobo, and again like Promise, have had Thunderbolt 3 enabled DAS direct attached storage for quite a while. But now, a new um, Thunderbolt NAS has entered the arena, and you know, a company like Promise already have a huge uh, lineage in Thunderbolt 3 direct attached storage with their Pegasus series are now taking on this big NAS brand like QNAP to see what they can do. I personally am really looking forward to seeing how this shakes up the market. Are we going to see other brands entering into a Thunderbolt NAS race and moreover is this finally going to be true Thunderbolt NAS because the QNAP Thunderbolt NAS as good as it is it is still Thunderbolt over IP, T over IP and what that means is that you're always going to have slightly limited speeds compared with traditional Thunderbolt connectivity. Normal Thunderbolt connectivity should give you, if you fully populate with SSDs, read and writes in the thousands, whereas over Thunderbolt over IP, those numbers stay in the hundreds and rarely leave. So the idea that a brand like Promise Technology that have a huge history in Thunderbolt direct attached storage enter into the NAS market could potentially mean that we're looking at the first full Thunderbolt NAS. Now, there's goods and bads, right? First and foremost, um, there isn't 10 GPE on this device. You may have heard that this device known as the Promise Atlas S8 Plus has Thunderbolt and 10 GPE. Well, it doesn't. It has one or the other. There's a PCIe slot that you can add either Thunderbolt port or 10 GPE. There's two different versions you can buy. And when it's 10 GPE, it is 10 G base T, so copper, not fiber. But going back to Thunderbolt connectivity, it does have an Intel i5 CPU inside. It's one of the newer gen and it's a quad core. I'm sure it's on the screen there somewhere. On top of that, you've got 16 gig of DDR4 memory that can be upgraded to 32 gig overall. The device has got an HDMI output on the rear, which is fantastic to see, as well as USBs and or the multimedia applications and business for the likes of virtualization and more. Whether the user interface, what that's going to be like, we don't know. I reckon it'll be something not dissimilar to Netgear or even WDs. It'll be a little bit sparse, nowhere near as flashy and graphical as the likes of Synology or QNAP. But nevertheless, this is an enormous leap forward. Um, now, this 8-bay device is purchased pre-populated with drives. And the drives that are inside, there's going to be several different versions. Again, just like the Promise Pegasus series. So, you're not going to be able to buy this device empty. You can only buy it with drives pre-installed. So I reckon we're going to see some WD Reds or maybe HDST based drives inside this. I don't think we'll see Seagates but you never know. But nevertheless, this video, um, the product I should say, represents two key things. One, another brand is entering into the Thunderbolt NAS market which is awesome news for competitive pricing and for the market in general. But two and more importantly, it doesn't stop another company coming along and doing it. No one owns Thunderbolt. No, oh, obviously someone does but the idea of Thunderbolt connectivity on a NAS, now it seems a more open playing field. Maybe this will open the doors to a Synology Thunderbolt NAS finally. Or moreover, we're going to see more DAS brands out there who, tang who tinker with NAS and DAS getting together for a Thunderbolt NAS. I'm looking at you, Drobo. But if you want to learn more about this device, do visit my link in the description to NASCompares.com where we've got the full breakdown of all the specs we have in that link. If you want to learn more or keep abreast of the new and exciting things happening in Thunderbolt now, don't forget to click like and subscribe. And finally, if you've got a question, find me via Twitter and send me a message at Ruby on the Tube. But don't forget to subscribe here and the other channel too. I'll see you later.